Hey guys, it's Khaleesi. I'm just kidding. It's my kaboo. <laughs> okay, I am lost my mind. Okay, so today's video, I'm so excited, is on the Game of Thrones collection with Urban Decay. There's so much stuff here and this video is action packed for looks for you guys. I, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm like jittery right now because I'm so excited about it. This is the palette. Just take it in. It's shaped like a book. Um, we've got Game of Thrones, Urban Decay. It's got all the houses on here. On the front is the Iron Throne, which is made with a thousand swords of Aegon's enemies. And then, which I unboxed this on my Instagram story yesterday, and I didn't even realize that this opens. I feel like such an idiot. Um, but we've got a huge mirror here. And right here it says Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. This one's on top, then that one's on top, and on and on it spins, crushing those on the ground. That's a quote from Daenerys. And if you guys remember, she doesn't want to keep the wheel going. She wants to break the wheel. She wants to take over and change the world. So this actually opens up. And there's an iron throne in there! How cool is that? Seriously. Oh my god. Like, I literally have my own Iron Throne now. Like, this is so stinking cool. We've got a map of Westeros behind the mirror. You can kind of see a bit. You can see King's Landing. And then you can also see Dorne at the bottom. And then we're getting a look at Essos over here. Not much else there. But the palette, close that, is right here. And it comes all the way out. Really cool, we've got all about like the Night King, we've got Winterfell, King's Landing, Bay of Dragons, so obviously the Night King, House Stark, House Lannister, House Targaryen. I've created a look for all four. I'm so excited for you guys to see. The also includes this Mother of Dragons highlighter palette. You'll see it in action later on. There are also two sword brushes in the collection which I haven't opened yet because actually I don't think I will open them because they're definitely collector's items and um I don't know I just don't want to open them and ruin them they're just so cool we have Jon Snow's long claw sword and then we have Arya's needle and they're very important in the show if you haven't seen it go watch it right now <laughs> And then we have four lipsticks, Daenerys Targaryen, Sansa Stark, White Walker, and Cersei Lannister. You'll see me use them as well. Four liners, Winterfell Snow, Lannister Gold, The Night King, and Dragon Smoke. So the collection definitely includes a lot of stuff. It's really cool. If you want to see everything in action, then please keep on watching. So before we get into this, I just want to say these are in no way going to be character recreations. They're going to be glam looks inspired by everything in the collection. So I'm going to go through each house and do a look for each. So let's get started. The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. This is the look I created using all of the items from House Stark. So let's get on into it. This is the Winterfell section. We have Nymeria, the name of Arya's direwolf. The weirwood leaves, they're, um, the weirwood trees are the part of the old gods. The site, winter is here. And Winterfell is the name of where the Starks live. So yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a look using these colors here. Then the pencil for them is called Winterfell Snow. It's basically just, a blue shift pencil. I'll show you on the back of my hand. And then the lipstick is called Sansa Stark. It is a sheer nude. I am going to start with this torch pencil. Pop this in my crease. And then with a dual fiber brush, I am just blending that into the skin, making sure there are no harsh edges. I like to use an eyeliner eyeshadow base because it makes the shadows pop. And then I'm going to take 
the Love Drug pencil. Pop it here. And again, doing the same thing, just blending that out and making sure there are no harsh edges. Taking Nymeria, I'm going to pop this in my crease. Winterfell, just on my finger, and I'm going to pop that on the lid. That's pigmented. Now I'm going to take Weirwood Leaves. And on a flat liner brush, I am smudging that into the lash line and joining it up in the outer V of the eye. Okay, and we are back. So, now I'm going to use Winterfell Snow Pencil. I'm going to pop that on the inner corner. And then the lower lash line, I'm going to go with Overdrive Pencil. i pop that in my waterline. And along the lower lash line. I'm going to give that a smoked out effect. And then we're going to take this shade, The Sight, layer it over top. And then I just want to take Winter is here and I'm going to add that right here. Then to make sure everything is blended, I'm going to take Nymeria Okay, so to finish off this look, I'm going to use a Sansa Stark lipstick Might just add a bit of lip liner And I do want to add some highlights I'm not going to use the Mother of Dragons palette for this look I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette and I'm going to use the middle shade here. Highlight makes everything better. Alright guys, so this is the look for House Stark. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's jump on into the next one. Excuse me, I just had to slip into some Lannister gold. <laughs> A Lannister always pays their debts. And drinks a lot of wine. Not actually wine. This is the look I created for House Lannister. I know this is not a golden haired wig. I don't have a golden hair wig. I only have this peach wig. It's the closest I had. Don't at me. Hope you guys like this look anyway. If you want to see this Lannister look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for House Lannister, we have the Red Keep, which is the castle where they reside at King's Landing. House Lannister, obviously, that's their house. Lannister Red, Casterly Rock, which is their castle where they live. Well, they live in King's Landing, but their home, like their castle, is Casterly Rock. And then King's Landing, obviously, is the capital and where they rule from. Then we have Lannister Gold Pencil, and we have Cersei Lannister, the lipstick. So for this look, I'm thinking a cut crease because they're like evil badasses. <laughs> so I'm going to take the torch pencil. Gonna run this in my crease. Blend this out. Lannister red. Run this in the crease. And then going to take House Lannister on a fluffy brush and we're going to blend that out. 
going to cut my crease. Then I'm going to take King's Landing. I'm just going to take the torch pencil again, run it along my lash line, wing it out. And go over that with more of Lannister Red. Let's take the Lannister Gold Pencil, inner corner, in my waterline. Now I'm just going to Lannister, Lannister, just going to layer King's Landing right over top of this. Really want the inner corner to pop. Pick up Red Keep, apply that right here, to pick up Casterly Rock, and pop that here. And I'm feeling daring, let's do a second wing. Just to make this look a little bit neater, take my concealer. Okay, so for the rest of House Lannister, we have the Cersei Lannister lipstick. Not what I was expecting, but it's okay. Let's get a liner up in here. And I also wanted to do King's Landing as my highlight, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, that makes a pretty highlight. Ooh, I like that a lot. Pretty. And I don't have a golden wig, but I have a peach wig. And that's about as close to Lannister gold that I have. Because I don't want to wear the same one that I'm going to wear for Danny, because they definitely look a lot different. So. <laughs> no, it just looks ridiculous. doesn't look like her at all. <laughs> this is like the time where I wish I had my blonde hair again because that would have been perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the finished look for House Lannister. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. Now let's jump on to the next one. Alright guys, so the Night King, okay, we have take the black, that's what you do when you go to the wall, you take the black and you become a crow. Uh, we have White Walker, obviously there are White Walkers north of the wall. Hard Home is the really important battle scene where the Night King shows himself and shows just how powerful he is. Uh, raises so many people from the dead. Free Folk, uh, those are the wildlings, the people that live north of the wall. And then Frozen North. Here is the Night King pencil. The lipstick is called White Walker. So this is definitely going to be a pretty dark look. The Night King pencil. And let's place that here and here in a halo shape. Going to blend that out. Take the black. I'm going to pack that here. And here. Then I'm going to pick up Frozen North. I'm going to blend around that. Now I'm going to take White Walker and blend even further around that.
taking an even bigger fluffier brush and just running around the whole thing. Then I'm going to take a bit of concealer and cut this center of my crease. Let's pick up Hard Home first. And then let's pick up Free Folk. I think I just want to take a bit of Frozen North and go right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Night King pencil inner, oh, outer I mean, and inner, followed by Winter Fowl Snow in the middle. And we're going to mimic the placement from above. I'm going to take take the black right here, merge them together, and we're going to pick up Frozen North, merge them together. Then we're going to pick up White Walker and go around the whole thing. And again, picking up a Free Folk, pop that in the center. Followed by Frozen North here and there. Okay, so onto my face, I'm going to take Hard Home and use this as my highlight. Sorry, I lost some of the audio for this. Um, this makes a banging highlight. It is such a pretty color. Wow. Okay, and then I am going to use the White Walker lipstick. I did a really, really, really bad job lining this. <laughs> and then I realized the wig was just too much, so I just used my natural hair. So that's it. And let's move on to the next one. Dracarys. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, this is the look for House of Targaryen, so if you want to see how I created it, then just keep on watching. Now for Danny, that's Daenerys Targaryen, well, Daenerys, storeborn of the House Targaryen, the mother of dragons, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, blah 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 blah. <laughs> She has many names. Okay, so this is her section here. We've got Bay of Dragons, which is what they renamed Slaver's Bay. Bend the Knee, she's always telling Jon Snow to bend the knee. House Targaryen, obviously that's her house. Stormborn, they named her Daenerys Stormborn because she was born in a storm. And then Dothraki, she married into the Dothraki. And then we have Dragon Smoke Liner Pencil, like this it's like a black it has a purple and bluish shift to it okay and then the lipstick is called Daenerys Targaryen it is a metalized red shade I'm going to take dragon smoke pencil start winging that out I think I just want her look to be like dramatic as because she's a badass and I'm just going to kind of smoke that out. Next, I'm going to take Stormborn. And we're going to layer that on top. I'm just going to pick up like a pencil brush. Run it here. I'll clean this up after. So then I'm going to take bend the knee all over the lid. I'm just trying to think for these gold shades because I'm not really sure what to do with them. Maybe I'll take House Targaryen and we'll add it right in here. 
because these are mostly the, this whole section is shimmers and the shimmers I usually only apply to the mobile lid so this is a bit different for me it looks cool okay so I just did my face real quick and then I remembered about the lip and cheek stain so let's add a bit of Dracarys see how it looks it's cute add a little bit of color to my face all right I'm gonna finish setting my face eyebrows we we'll back in a minute this one from Milani and I'm just going to pop this in my waterline and along my lower lash line oh they actually have a gold pencil the Lannister gold pencil should have used that you can use it if you get it at home all right so now that that's on I'm going to take the shade Dothraki and we're going to pop that down there Now obviously we have one shade that we haven't used yet and that is Bay of Dragons. I'm going to take that and we're going to pop this on the inner corner. Okay, so I'm back with my Danny wig on. <laughs> I am aware just how ridiculous it looks. I mean, there's like purple roots I've tried to cover up. Yeah, I did this uh, Danny hairstyle and I'm thinking about filming it. Let me know if I should and if you'd like to see that kind of thing from me. Let me show you what the back looks like. I mean, it's kind of rough. I did it really quick the other night, but let's I'll show you. It was inspired by season seven highlight and lips. So her lip is this red shade. I mean, it's not really going to go with this look, but whatever. See, that's the thing. I think the rest of the collections go really well together, but I think Danny's is kind of all over the place. Like, the rest of them are really cohesive, and this one is just all over the place. Yeah, I feel like it just looks ridiculous with this wig. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now let's use the Mother of Dragons highlight palette. Ooh, it's so pretty. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to use this because it's just so pretty and like I don't want to ruin the, the little eggs. You see? We've got Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. Those are the names of her dragons. She rides Drogon. He's the biggest. And then Viserion, if you didn't see season 7, turn this off right now. That was your warning. Okay, Viserion was taken. He was killed by the Night King and then turned into a white walker dragon it's crazy oh and then Rhaegal is still with Danny the conspiracies are that John is going to be able to ride Rhaegal because the three dragons were named Drogon Daenerys was married to call Drogo so she named that one Drogon Viserion is named for her brother Viserys and he was kind of like the evil one so it kind of makes sense that the Night King took him and then Rhaegal is named for her other brother Rhaegar and if you didn't see season 7 turn this off again this is another warning <laughs> Rhaegar Targaryen is Jon Snow's father so wouldn't that be really cool if Jon was able to ride Rhaegal <laughs> anyway um yeah this is me geeking out for a little bit so let's try uh, Drogon on my cheek. Hopefully I don't mess up the little dragon eggs. Okay, what do you think? It's pretty. I'm so sad the dragon eggs messed up already. Uh, let's just try a little bit of Viserion. Uh, Rhaegal is going to be too dark for me. There we go. That made it pop. Pretty. Alright guys, so this is the finished look for House Targaryen. I know it's a little all over the place, but I think that out of all four collections, this 
color scheme was a bit all over the place. I think with the other three, they all had like a cohesiveness with the liner, the lipstick, and the shadows. Um, I think this is the only one that was like a little all over the place, but that's okay. Let me know down below which look was your favorite. I'm so excited for the show to come on. We have 11 more days. Well, 11 from today. I'm not really sure if this is going to go up today. But anyway, we're almost down to single digits. It's almost here. Season 8 is almost here. I'm so excited, but I'm also really sad because it's almost over. Like, we have six episodes left of our favorite show. Oof. As far as the collection, I love the shadows. Um, Urban Decay's shadows are amazing. The shimmers are just uh, amazing. Buttery, creamy super pigmented so easy to use definitely a collector's collection and huge 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 thank you to urban decay for sending me out the collection i am so thankful and excited that they collabed with my favorite show and that i was able to be one of the first people to get it i just it blows my mind and i'm not gonna cry it's just really cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got anything from the collection, I would say get the palette. It's amazing. And seriously, who doesn't want their own Iron Throne? <laughs> seriously, who doesn't want their own Iron Throne? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. Hopefully this means I'm returning to YouTube. <laughs> please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and let me know which look was your favorite down in the comments below. Also, leave me a comment. Let's talk Game of Thrones. Let's talk theories because I've been watching tons and tons of theory videos and I'm super excited. Why did you just do that? All right, guys, I will see you on my next video and the long night is finally over. Bye, guys. <laughs>